Selina Sardothian is summoned for a meeting at the Assassin's Keep by Arabin Hamel, the King of the Assassins and the head of the Assassin's Guild. Selina is a renowned assassin and Arabin's prodigy, sent on a mission to Skull's Bay with her enemy and fellow assassin, Sam Cortland. The mission was to trade 100 slaves. However, Selina is disgusted by slave trading and decides to free the slaves instead. Although the pirate Lord Rolf discovers their deception, their risky plan is a success. Arabin punishes Selina by making her stay in the rundown port town of Inish. She resides at a terrible inn, White Pig's Inn, where Yareen Towers, a former healer's daughter, keeps a curious eye on her for two days. Irene seeks to save money to study healing in Antica. When four men assault Irene, Selina rescues her and trains her in combat. Before leaving, Selina gifts Irene with gold so she can follow her dream. Selina is commanded by Arabin to obtain a letter from the Mute Master, the leader of a renowned group of assassins, within a month. With the Mute Master's approval, she begins training and is assigned a roommate named Ansel, also an assassin, and learns about Lord Beric's failed attempts to conquer the Red Desert. Despite her desire to meet the Master, Selina must endure regular assassin training at the compound until he deems her worthy. Ansel is then sent to Xandria to speak with Beric to negotiate peace, and Selina decides to join. Later, Ansel plans to steal Beric's prized Asterian horses, and with a thrilling escape, they return to the fortress. Selina is surprised by the master's decision to train, causing jealousy and an argument between her and Ansel. After resolving their dispute, Ansel drugs Selina and abandons her in the desert with a note from the master stating that he wants her gone. Selina defies the instructions and returns to the fortress, only to discover a devastating attack by Lord Beric's forces. It is revealed that Ansel, working as a spy for Beric, has poisoned the master in order to seek revenge for her family's death. Seeing Selina as a genuine friend, she invites her to join, but is refused. They engage in a fight, with Selina ultimately sparing Ansel's life. In the end, the master gives Selina a letter of recommendation and money to settle her debts to Arabin. He assures her that she always has a home there. Upon arrival at Rifthold, Arabin expresses remorse and lavishes her with gifts, including a costly new armor. He then asks her to eliminate a wealthy woman's ex-husband, Benzo Donoval. Selina runs into Sam and learns that he has been forced to spend time with another one of Arabin's protégés, Lysandra, causing jealousy from Selina. Selina receives a new assassin suit armor from Arabin and asks Sam for help with her mission. When she breaks into Benzo Donoval's house, she is knocked out and wakes up tied to a chair in the sewers with the intent to kill her. But thankfully, Sam rescues her just in time. After the killing of Benzo, Selina learns that he was the innocent one in the situation and was lied to by Arabin. Selina confronts Arabin and tells him she sold her horse and paid off Sam's debts before moving out. Selina and Sam are now moved out. This night she is upset about Sam not being home. She assumes he is fighting for money at the vaults. They argue over their financial situation and Sam's desire to move away. They go to Arabin's house to inform him of their departure. Arabin demands an exorbitant amount of money, which Selina reluctantly agrees to. To earn the money, they decide to take on a difficult contract to kill crime lord Jane and his right-hand man, Farron. Selina agrees. Selina finds Arabin in her living room, expressing his love for her and urging her to stay in Rifthold. She refuses. Sam books a passage to the southern continent before preparing to go after Farron. Selina anxiously waits for Sam. Arabin shows up and tells her Sam is dead and leads her to his body. Farron had his body delivered as a message. Realizing that Sam is truly gone, Selina is overwhelmed with grief and stays with Sam's body. She escapes through the window although Arabin's bodyguard, Wesley tries to stop her because he knows her going after Farron and Jane is a trap, but she won't listen. Breaking into Jane's house, Selina defeats him and his guards. However, Farron drugs her with paralyzing smoke. When brought before the king for trial, she is given nine life sentences in the salt mines of Endovier. Turns out Arabin and Farron conspired to kill Sam and Jane and have Selina sent over to the king. Selina, on her way to Endovier in a prison wagon, loses hope until she spots a white stag. The rarity of these stags, destroyed by Adderlin during their invasion of Terrasin, symbolizes magic and guides the people of Terrasin. Selina, filled with newfound determination, declares herself fearless upon reaching Endovior.